Hello and welcome back to my farm. In today's video I'm going to be talking about the Christmas event that we've just had. And what is it going to be? Let's have a look. Thank you Mr. Mayor for telling us. Is it going to be the Loon products? Are we going to be very very happy? Let's find out and see. Will it be the bell? <gasps> Oh my god, no. Please, no, don't tell me. It's sewing machine items. No! And I have totally made the wrong items for this. All of the items I've made have been for the loom. Oh dear, did I drop a clanger here, but then again, so did everybody else. Now, we need 15 items to enter the global event here. Now, that's easy, because I do have some stock. Now, what kind of stock do I need to have here? Well, for the sewing machine, you need cotton shirts, like this one here. And how many have I got? Seven, so let's contribute those. Okay, I'm halfway there to the global total. What else do we need to contribute? Well, there are violet dresses, and I have quite a few of those as well. So, let's put those in. And let's see what happens. Okay, so the first check mark is 15. The second check mark is going to be 44. Ooh, that's difficult. Oh dear, 321 million sewing machine items. That's going to be a lot. Now, according to this, I have 6 days and 23 hours left, and I've contributed 15. But lots of people have donated thousands already, so keep it up, everybody. Okay, let's donate the rest of my stock here. Right, 11 chaps, there you go. And that should take me up to 29 of 44. Now, I do have pillows and I do have blankets, but I'm not going to donate those yet. I'm going to see how far into the event I can get before I put them in. Now, the first prize was a nice little plant. Now, I'm quite happy about that. Uh, I'd already bought some, but uh, another one's uh, not going to hurt. And I do enjoy the Christmas decorations. Now, how do we make these items? Well, we need the sewing machine. And the sewing machine will cost you 4,500 gold and takes about 20 hours to make. Or you can speed it up with 44 diamonds. Now, for this event, the best item to produce is the cotton shirt. Any other item would just take way, way, way too long. So, now, to make those items, you're going to need this. And these items are cotton fabrics. And again, to produce the cotton fabric, you're going to need the cotton buds, which you're going to have to grow. So there's a bit of uh, a bottleneck at this point here. Now, I'm quite lucky. My uh, loom is fully mastered, whereas my sewing machine only has a couple of stars. So I have a bit of a problem. Uh, can I make everything in time? I don't know. Will I have to buy or hire Tom? Again, I don't know. But, let's have a quick look. So, quickly just have a look at these orders. No, there's nothing there. Uh, send the visitors away. Uh, right, now, I have lots of Loom products, so let's start selling those off and create space. Because you never know. Maybe I will find lots of sewing machine items in someone else's stall in a minute. Now, I had made quite a few items uh, for this event on the hope that it would be loom products. Uh, but, as you can see, it was not to be. Now, do I lose any money for this? No, I don't, because I'm going to put all of those items in the newspaper uh, and sell them to people, and very quickly they will be bought, because people still want to have these items, because they're looms are going to be held up making cotton fabrics. So, those of us who sold uh, these items very quickly uh, were able to do it quite quickly. I did notice from looking at uh, some other people's stalls later that the items were just sitting there for, uh, for a long time. So, the early bird catches the worm, as they say. 
Now, just to give you some timings. Uh, now, if you have a sewing machine that's not fully mastered, uh, as I said, cotton shirts will be your best item. You can start making these from uh, level 19, and cotton fabrics you can make from level 18 in the loom. Cotton fabrics take 35 minutes, and you need two cotton fabrics to make one cotton shirt, which takes 45 minutes. So if you're thinking about the amount of time it's going to take, that's quite a bit of time. So in total, you've got uh, like a, an hour and 55 minutes, so basically uh, two hours to make one item. Ouch! And you're going to need a lot of items. Trust me on this, because I know what we had to do. Right, now, how could I reduce my time and make it easier? Okay, well, one thing I could do here uh, to increase this total is to look elsewhere. Now, where can I look to find items? Now, if you're quick, you can do this before everybody else. You can look in the newspaper. Now, looking in the newspaper will give you the opportunity to buy up any items that people are selling before someone else does, which means you don't have to make them. Right, now, the tally total there is ticking over quite nicely. Uh, so it's promising. We've got quite a few top contributors already who are donating in the thousands. And yeah, I've sold all of my items already. Perfect. Don't you just love advertisements in the paper? Uh, so, thank you everybody for giving me all of your hard-earned coinage there. Now, what's the other way of actually finding these items? Well, your best bet is to go to your friend's stalls. Now, remember, uh, you're looking for cotton fabric and uh, sewing machine items to start with. Uh, and cotton fabrics from level 18. So, anybody from level 18 above on your friend's bar is the place to start hunting. Now, the choice is yours. Now, as you can see here, I found a few items, uh, and uh, I did quite nicely in that. And it took me up to my second level, uh, so I have got myself a nice pole. But the third benchmark there is 88, so it's becoming more and more challenging. And uh, if this is 88, I hate to think what the fourth one's going to be. Uh, I think someone dropped uh, the ball in this event. Uh, these totals are too difficult. And I think, personally, many people lost heart. Now, okay, uh, I kind of knew earlier in the game uh, that we were not going to get this bell. Now, that's not a worry. I don't mind. Uh, because if we don't actually get the item, there's always next year, maybe. Uh, there's always another time. Uh, there's always another Christmas if you're still around then. Uh, sometimes we're lucky, sometimes we're not. Now, for me, the main thing with this event was to try and get the prizes. Uh, because they do cost diamonds uh, for most of those uh, decorations. And the decorations are actually quite nice. Uh, and as you will see later, I did get all of the decorations. And I put them on my beach uh, just so people could see what they look like. And I will show you later in the video. Now, this item here is going to be very, very important for you. Now, I'm quite lucky. I have a lot of uh, land where I can uh, grow crops. And I grew a lot of these items here. Uh, and then I was able to sell them to other people uh, at full price and make a lot of money. Uh, because they do take a few hours to make. And if you've got a lot of land, you can make a lot of coinage very, very quickly. So, even if you're not participating in the event or you're finding it very challenging to make the items, you do have the option to produce these things and sell them. Because people will buy them. They are quick money earners. And they will allow you to build up your coin total very, very quickly. And as you can see there, I'm harvesting lots. And that's a lot of acreage. The XP is very, very good. Uh, you get a uh, 6 XP uh, every time uh, you harvest one of these. And it puts two into the silo for you. And the other good thing about it, yeah, I got tape. 
perfect. And you get many, many or more items. Okay, let's plant some more. 282 there. Once I've uh, planted all of these, there will be a lot less and I can sell them. Now, how long uh, do they take to grow? Whoa, 2 hours and 29 minutes. Uh, so, you need to make sure you have a lot of these. Uh, because if you are making uh, the cotton fabric, you will need three of those uh, for every cotton fabric. Uh, so, there's a bit of a, a delay there. Mm, and I think that's what cost a lot of people a lot of time earlier on in the game. Uh, because they didn't have the cotton fabrics and they didn't have the cotton buds made. Because up to this point, there were not a lot of requests for the items except in the town and a few crates. Now three have been sold already and the others won't be in the store for very, very long. Now what's my total? I've got 68 of 88 and I'm about to add some more. So that's 73 now. Okay, another one there, that's 74. Now occasionally keep checking back at your friend's stalls. Uh, keep checking the newspaper, because people are selling them. Like I said, it you can make money. Uh, we've got uh, 19 million there, so not bad, okay. We're 6 days and 18 hours left on the clock, uh, and people are still donating lots of items. Uh, let's see how these totals change later, and let's see if the top contributors stay the same. Hmm. Okay, another nine there, so... 76... Seven more cotton shirts. That's 83. Five more to go. Can I find those, or will I have to produce them myself? Hmm, thinking. Aha, perfect. Now, during this event, we had the option of hiring Tom, or at least I did. But what was the offer? Okay, for five days, 54 diamonds, or one day, 15 diamonds. Now, I was so tempted to take up this offer. However, I did not have enough diamonds for the five days. Uh, and I do like to hire Tom occasionally for some of these events. Uh, but because of the Christmas holidays, I wasn't actually at home. I was away in Okinawa. Uh, so if I hired Tom, I would not be able to make best use of his time. Uh, and that was one of the other challenges for me. You see, I was away over the Christmas period. Now, I'm spending time with my family, uh, and I don't really want to be touching this game all the time when I want to be enjoying my time with them. I'm doing a lot of sightseeing, taking photos, eating wonderful food, uh, and just uh, relaxing. So, I kind of wish sometimes that we were told what kind of events were coming up earlier, or at least given some clues on what to expect and what to make. Okay, right, you've just seen the third item there, a little toy soldier, and I'm quite happy to get that one. Now, as I was saying, I do wish that Supercell would please let us know uh, in advance what these events are going to be. Then people can start saving these items or preparing for the events. Uh, okay, you don't have to give us that much time, but a few extra days to start thinking about it or preparing would make things so much, much easier. Ah, uh, okay, if you know you've got a difficult total like this, uh, this prompt uh, will allow us more opportunities. Now, we actually love this game, but I do know quite a few people who have stopped because of it, uh, because they felt very let down by this. Uh, if you've seen some of the comments on the forum, uh, a lot of people were also disappointed. Now, I may be a little disappointed I don't have the bell, uh, but at the end of the day, I'm not too worried, because as I said, there are other opportunities. Now, uh, 
did I let it affect me too much? No, okay. Uh, as you just noticed there, uh, one of my friends asked for some of the items. Now, I could have said no and been very greedy and kept them for myself, but uh, like I said, I wasn't mainly going for the global total anymore. Uh, I was more focusing on the individual items, so I'm quite happy to sell to people in my neighborhood or other people at the same time. Uh, and I also sold some of the other clothes that I don't need anymore. So perfect. Now, did I make a lot of money? Nope, because it wasn't important. And Jammy Dodger says, Thanks, Ricky. I wish I could help you on your boat, but I am a low level. You're welcome, old chap. Uh, I uh, don't mind. So, Ziv and Jammy there are in my neighborhood. And by the way, my neighborhood name is Red Knight's Place, and the E is the number three. So, please do request to join if you want to. Uh, occasionally, there are, are empty places, and I do accept everybody. Okay, now, we did get some requests. Uh, so, as an example, there was a boat request here for some cotton fabric, and guess what? I sent it away. There's no way I'm going to uh, waste 15 fabrics or so on that one. Now, the next total here was 161. Ooh, ooh that was a lot. Okay, but I did it, and I've only got 31 more to go there, and 4 days and 16 hours to get the total. Okay, right, now we're 2 days down, and we're slowing down on the tally. Ah, uh, okay, as I said, it's the Christmas period, so not everyone is able to participate. But what did you do for Christmas? Like, as I said, I went to Okinawa. Now, I had a wonderful time there. I got sunburnt. Uh, okay, I didn't relax on the beach. I did lots of walking and went out with the family. Uh, we visited some wonderful places. Uh, and we had some uh, excellent meals at some uh, uh, hotel restaurants and some uh, other local eating establishments. We visited one of my favorite places, uh, which is uh, Ryukyu Mura. Uh, it's a, a village uh, of some of the old houses that were moved from different parts of Okinawa into the one location. And it's absolutely wonderful. This year we were very lucky. It's our fifth time visiting there, and it's the first time f that we were able to uh, see a special dance or exhibition there. Uh, usually we miss it. Okay, the fourth price there was a Christmas tree. Perfect, because that one does cost a lot of diamonds. Oh my goodness, 263 is the final total. Are you kidding me? Okay, well, I've got three days and 13 hours to get another 100. Can I do it? Yes, I can, because I've already finished this event, so I know it. But blooming hell, was that a lot. Now, even the visitors were asking me for items, and I just sent them away. I'm sorry, uh, ladies and gentlemen, but there's no way you're buying anything from me. Now, the hotel I stayed at in Okinawa was very, very good. Uh, we had a, basically a condominium uh, within the hotel itself. So it was very, very relaxing. We could uh, cook and uh, relax in what we would call our own apartment, uh, or use the hotel facilities. So it was great. And the poolside uh, meals were wonderful. I had this really delicious fish breakfast. It was great. Another hotel we visited uh, just for dinner was the Busan Hotel. Uh, I strongly recommend this place for dinner. Uh, the service was fantastic. The, the food was really, really good. They were ve really uh, sociable people. Uh, we also visited the Marriott, uh, and I'm never ever going to go back to that place. The food was absolutely awful. Uh, even my family uh, didn't like it. So, either too much sauce or too dry. Uh, big thumbs down from me from that place.
Okay, I've got one day and 20 hours left on the clock. Uh, we're only halfway to achieving the total. So, uh, I'm afraid that uh, at this stage, I think we are going to fail. Uh, I'm getting closer to the 263 mark, uh, but it's getting tight. Uh, I've got another 42 to do, so I can do it. Uh, uh, yep, yeah, I can do this. That won't be a problem. Okay, make that 21 to go now. Uh, we have 17 hours and 6 minutes on the clock. I may even have to use the pillows and the blankets. Okay, 17 hours and 6 minutes left on the clock, and it's 191 million. We're not going to do it. Okay, now we've got some uh, top neighborhoods here. 141,000 by the first neighborhood there. Now, I'm afraid I can't read that, but uh, thank you very much for you guys and girls in that neighborhood. You really helped out. Uh, it's just a shame that uh, we were not able to get this total. Now, I really do appreciate uh, people like that. Uh, so you just saw a quick glimpse of the neighborhood there. Uh, they put a lot of time and effort. They use a lot of their own money and resources. Uh, they challenge each other. Uh, and they actually do make these items. And they make it much easier for those of us who can't actually produce a lot of items within the time. Ah... Uh, and basically, uh, a big hats off to you guys and girls. Yep, I'm going to have to use my blankets. Now, I didn't want to do this, but uh, I've got 9 hours and 31 minutes on the clock, and I need to hit the sack. Uh, and I really want to do this before the time runs out. Okay, there we go. Yes, it was a snow globe. That was worth going for. Okay, I'm not going to get the bell. Uh, it's a shame. Okay, it would have looked fantastic on my farm, or should I say in my town, but it's not to be. But I got a plant, I got a pole, I got a soldier, I got a Christmas tree, and I got a snow globe. I achieved the goal with time uh, that I wanted to do, uh, and I failed here, or should I say we all failed. Okay, we ended up with 206 million. That was a good effort. And these are the top neighbourhoods. Thank you very much for your efforts, people. Uh, you did wonderful. Uh, I just wish that uh, we all could have uh, done as much as you guys. Uh, but, as I said, it was not to be. It was a missed reward. Now, next time, Mr. Mayor, please don't be so greedy. Okay. We do want to help you out, but if you're asking for ridiculous items, it's just not going to happen, sir. Okay, they are the prizes. That's what I got. Now, most people would have got very similar items. Okay, a few people got some things that are slightly different. But don't they look wonderful? And look at that Christmas tree. I now have two Christmas trees I can use next Christmas, two globes I can use next Christmas, two soldiers, two poles, and many, many flowers. I'm going to love decorating my town next Christmas. I may even have a Christmas tree on the farm next year. Hmm, but I'm going to have to think about that. It, we will have to wait and see. Okay, now this was the bell. You can see it on Greg's farm. Now, why does he have the bell, I wonder? He should not have that item. I think he stole it. Now, hopefully that item will be on sale next year for diamonds, but we will have to wait and see. Okay, that's the end of my video, so see you all, and uh, have a good Christmas and Happy New Year. Bye-bye.